Hello, I'm Sharon and I've just done the Thrive programme. Um, I'll just tell you a bit about myself. Um, first of all, I've had a metaphobia for over 25 years now. I've also suffered with bad anxiety and panic attacks. Um, before I did the Thrive programme, I had several avoidance behaviours that I have done for years. Um, here are a few. Um, I didn't like eating out and if I did it had to be a restaurant which I knew and with very good hygiene standards. Um, I'd avoid eating certain foods like chicken and fish because I thought they were high risk. Um, if there was a bug going round I would starve myself because I was worried that if I had food inside me that would make me more likely to be sick. Um, I also used to avoid certain numbers like six because it sounded like sick, um, so much so I refused to wear size six shoes even though that's my size, I wore size seven for several years. Um, I also hated hospitals, I worked next to a hospital but I would avoid going there at all costs. Um, I also used to avoid certain films, um, I wouldn't watch Mary Poppins because I was sick when I last watched it, so I hadn't watched that for over 20 years. Um, the panic attacks were also quite bad um, through school and work, so um, it really affected my life quite a lot. Um, I originally um, brought the Thrive book about four years ago. Um, I saw it on Amazon and thought it looked good, so I ordered a book. Um, I did put a bit of effort in to start with and got a bit better. Unfortunately, I don't think I did the exercises as well as I should done and I sort of gave up with it and um, I think for about two years the book just stayed in my drawer and I just carried on. Um, and two years later I decided I wanted to have another go, I really needed to do it. So um, I went onto the Thrive website and actually noticed that Robert updated um, one of the books so he'd now got the dream technique in it. Um, being a bit of a perfectionist I had to order the updated book so I had another book um, which I started to work through again, um, started to get a bit better again um, but when it got a little bit tough I think I just sort of gave up and again it went back in my drawer. Um, at the beginning of last year I had a really bad blip, I suffered very badly with panic and anxiety, my metaphobia was as worse as it's been for a long time. Um, so I decided to do the book yet again. Um, I had to order another one of course because I thought I scribbled all over the other one and put all my markings and I being a perfectionist I had to start again so I ordered another book. Um, I had another good go at it but I was struggling a bit so I decided um, towards the end of last year that it would be better to do it with a Thrive consultant. Um, I uh, found um, James in Cambridge on Thrive, on the Thrive website. Um, I was absolutely terrified about going up there. I think I got my dad to ring him to book the appointment and then my dad took me up there for the first appointment. Um, as soon as I got in there though, I was much more relaxed. He explained the uh, the programme. Um, it was all very positive. It wasn't about brooding about what had happened. It was just very straightforward. This is how, how it works. Um, so I booked the next appointment to start the programme. Um, the next week... I think we did some of the quizzes and these are the results of my quizzes. This is a fry factor from my first session. So as you can see I had 100% social anxiety, zero self-esteem and 26 out of 30 for my locus control quiz. So I was really um, extreme <laughs> and um, also uh, going through the programme I found that I had a lot of the negative thinking styles. Um, I was a big brooder, I'd worry and brood about events for weeks, months ahead. Um, I was always so to catastrophize, I would have to think out the worst possible case scenario. Um, I obsessed, um, I think dramatised, I think nearly all of the negative stars I had a bit of. Um, so once I sort of realised that it was my thinking that was doing it, um, I realised that I could help myself and I started to apply myself a lot more. Um, the self-esteem exercises were brilliant, um, processing the positives being a big help for me. Um, at first I actually struggled with that bit quite a lot. Um, I remember emailing James and saying, I haven't got any positives, what do I do? Um, so he told me to sort of be grateful for things um, and once I started doing that, 
I think I noticed there are a lot of things when you look to be grateful for. I think whether it was a nice blue sky or a nice family or a warm bed, things like that. Um, once I started off with that, I really got going with the process and the positives and I managed to do that um, every day. And um, that really built up my self-esteem. Um, throughout the programme, I just worked on knocking down some of my bad thinking styles. I worked on my locus of control. Um, I think I had a lot of superstitions and so I managed to knock them out quite quick. Um, and now I'd say I, I'm so much better now. Um, some of the things that I do now, I um, have watched Mary Poppins now and I really enjoyed that. Um, I wear size 6 suit shoes now so I um, got my correct size on. Um, I eat in hospital with my colleagues and I wouldn't even, six months ago, I wouldn't have even stepped foot in there so... That's really good. Um, I eat chicken um, and I really like prawns now. So that's, that's again, something I'd never do. Um, I'm also training for a triathlon and I have joined a swimming club. So it's really made a huge difference to me. Um, I'll say to anyone thinking of doing this, it's definitely really good program to do. Um, I tried several treatments in the past, hypnotherapy, cognitive behavioural therapy, counselling, um, but I think Thrive is the only thing that really understands emetophobia and really um, understands your thinking thinking patterns. So I would say um, go for it and don't be put off by people that might have done it a bit quicker. Um, it took me time to get through it and I still got things I want to work on, but it has really improved my life.